हेलो ब्यूटीफुल पीपल टुडे सेवेंटींथ ऑफ मे माय नेम इज साहिल एंड वेलकम टू न्यूज पेपर एनालिस फ्रेंड्स यू ऑल माइट बी नोइंग कॉफी एंड नान द फॉर्मर सेक्रेटरी जनरल ऑफ यूनाइटेड नेशन एंड द विनर ऑफ नोबेल पीस प्राइज ही सेज नॉलेज इज पावर इन्फॉर्मेशन इज लिबरेटिंग एजुकेशन इज द प्रिमाइस ऑफ प्रोग्रेस इन एवरी सोसाइटी इन एवरी फैमिली सो फ्रेंड्स मिस्टर कॉफी एंड नान हैज इक्वेटेड नॉलेज विद द पावर एज वेल एज लिबरेशन and guys knowledge has been equated as the premise and foundation for every society's well being guys you can use this particular quote into the questions on education in gs paper number 2 as well as into the essays so friends let's begin with today's analysis friends this is the page number 1 of the hindu newspaper and the first news item that we can see here is the installment number 4 of the atmanirbhar abhiyan first of all the reforms are not that much complex as it looks if we break down the entire reforms the, we will find that there are the eight areas where the government has talked and one by one very easily we will see this thing so guys first we will see that what has happened into the coal sector now originally the coal sector was the monopoly of the private sector and there are large miners into the coal however after independence government of india favored the nationalization of coal and in 1972 and 1973 coal sector was nationalized by passing the coking coal mine act of 1972 and coal mine act of 1973 so guys for a very long time the coal sector was nationalized however things started to change in 2015 when for the first time government came out with coal mine act of 2015 and by this coal mine act of 2015 we opened up the coal sector for the private players now guys how the sector was opened up it was said that the private players for the captive use they can take up the coal block now captive use is use for your own end purpose if you are making the steel then you can have your own coal block from where you will mine the coal and will use it for the manufacturing of steel so that was the captive it was allowed then the next reform came in 2018 where the government decided that now we will be allowing the commercial mining of the coal so commercial mining means that the private player without the captive use can also come and can take up the coal block and at that point of time it was decided that the coal will be given on the basis of bidding and the bidder need to give money to the government on to the per ton of the coal that has been mined so guys this is the entire background which has happened till now and now what government has decided government has said that now they will be further going with the reforms and now number one change is that they had talked about the revenue sharing mechanism it means not on to the per ton basis but whatever revenue is being generated government will take a share into that so now instead of a fixed rupee ton which we had discussed earlier in that place the revenue sharing mechanism is coming and now the entry norms will be even more liberalized and immediately 50 blocks will be offered to the bidders so guys many a places it is being said that the that the sector has been opened up for private sector no it has been done already in 2018 now the rules are being liberalized and now guys secondly if we talk about minerals then on to the lines of the coal minerals other minerals are also being liberalized and it has been decided that immediately 500 mining blocks will be offered through an open and transparent auction process they will be auctioned now guys earlier there was a distinction between the other mineral mining also that is the captive and non captive mines captive mines for your own purpose now guys suppose you are an aluminium plant then you can have a bauxite mine from which you can mine the aluminium and can use it for your own purpose now non captive mine will also be auctioned it means that doesn't matters you don't have a box or aluminium factory you can still mine the bauxite and can sell to other third party 
and after that there is one more provision that is the joint auction of bauxite and coal mineral blocks to enhance the aluminium industry's competitiveness guys aluminium industries need two things one is the raw material that is the bauxite and other the energy that will come from the coal so jointly they will be given and after that ministry of mines have also decided to develop a mineral index for the different minerals by this we will get to know that what is the growth that is going into the different mineral sectors now friends the third reform has came into the defense sector and in this particular direction first of all government has decided that particular weapons will be notified which cannot be imported so import will be restricted secondly there have been talks that there will be the indigenization of imported spares so the rafal jet and all that which they have we have imported their spares will be making in house then guys there will be a separate budget for the domestic capital procurement so tanks artillery there will be a separate budget for the capital procurement that is procurement within the country now guys all these things will reduce the import bill of india and at the same time in order to bring the better technology we are also deciding to raise the fdi limit into the defense sector from 49 percent to 74 percent through the automatic route Friends, the automatic route simply means that you don't need to take the approval from the government. Directly, you can bring 74% investment into the defense sector. Now, on the sidelines, if I have to tell you, then this particular provision has also been criticized by the opposition because they say that on one hand, you are talking about Atma Nirbharta and on the other hand, you are raising the FDI limit. So, how it is Atma Nirbharta? However, coming to the next reform, government has decided that there will be the time bound framework for the defense procurement so that all the procurement comes very fast. Now guys, the fourth is the civil aviation. So in the civil aviation sector, certain reforms have been carried. Now guys, very easy reforms they are. First of all, we have a large airspace that is the sky available, but the airspace is not effectively utilized and a large airspace is restricted for the commercial flights. And guys, only 60% of the airspace is utilized. Now, if we open up the airspace, then there will be a benefit of rupees 1000 crore per year. Therefore, the airspace will be opened up from the present 60% which is available. Now, after that guys, the infrastructure has also been talked about and airports through PPP, that is private public partnership will be taken up. It will be the joint venture between the private and the government. And in this direction, even the work has been started, various projects have been given and much more will be identified into the coming time. Now friends, the next reform is the aircraft MRO. MRO means maintenance, repair and overhaul. So guys, in India, we will be making a hub for the aircraft repairs and the industry which is right now 800 crore will be expanded to 2000 crore. Now guys, it has been suggested that the major engine manufacturers such as Boeing, Rolls Royce etc will be setting up the engine repair facilities in India and from world over, we will start repairing the planes and guys india's maintenance cost into the airlines will also come down and in this particular direction the defense sector as well as civil aviation mros will come together and will help to provide better economic system and now guys the next is the power sector and in power sector two reforms have been suggested reform number one there will be a new tariff policy now guys the tariff policy is with respect to the electricity charges and this new tariff policy will be taking care of rights of the consumers will promote the industry so that the industries should not go into the losses and will see how the sector could be made more sustainable into the long run moreover uh, the policy will be released so will not be going into that much detail second is that the privatization of distribution companies of electricity so guys there are two things one are the distribution companies and other are the electricity producers so distribution companies will be privatized into the union territory so that better efficiency could come into the sector 
and now friends talking about the space then into the space private participation will be allowed into the research they can make the vehicles and moreover private sector will also be allowed to use the ISRO facilities and other assets to enhance their capabilities so guys when we will allow the private sector the future capabilities of space will increase so this is here now lastly the atomic energy and with respect to atomic energy PPP model will be explored now guys PPP means that coming together of government as well as private now guys this PPP model will be for two things first of all for the medical isotopes now guys there is huge application of radioactivity into the cancer treatment and other treatment so how that particular thing can be developed will be explored onto the PPP model and secondly irradiation technologies will be developed on PPP model now guys irradiation means that by applying the radioactivity we can kill the bacteria and pathogens into the food so their shelf life can be enhanced so this irradiation into the food and medical isotopes will be worked upon so guys this was all about the fourth installment friends i believe that you are diligently following this entire fiscal package because this is one of the largest reform carried after 1991 so please prepare it well for your gs paper number three now we'll move to the next now friends here's a news item on page number one where the word super spreader has been mentioned into the aftermath of spike in cases now friends in the last day gujarat registered very high toll of the infections and the reason could be the super spreader now five guys in order to understand we will understand the concept of r not r not means that how many person will be infected by a positive man or a woman so guys if a person is infecting three people then the r not rate will be of three now guys presently in the context of india this r note is 1.27 it means that the one person is infecting 1.27 now guys for the super spreaders this r note is very high and above than the national average now friends when we talk about super spreader the name of a patient 31 of south korea comes now patient 31 was one asymptomatic carrier who came in contact with 9300 people out of which 1200 people developed symptoms and many hundreds were tested positive so guys these super spreaders can spread a very large number of cases so into the present news item it is being said that the rise in number of cases is because of such super spreaders which are there now guys these super spreaders depend on two factors first of all these super spreaders will be asymptomatic they will not show the positive symptoms so we don't know that they are carrying the virus and into the meanwhile passively they are infecting large number of people secondly these people are those who come in contact with large number of people by the virtue of their occupation or their profile for example vegetable vendors delivery boys police people so they are tend to become more super spreaders so guys in this context there could be a question so please remember what is r not who can become the super spreader and all this so this was all now we'll move to the next now friends here's a news item on page number three where the impact on art and culture has been shown due to the pandemic but first of all what do we understand by the art and culture now first of all culture it is a way of life that the people in particular region live now guys this way of life is influenced by many factors such as their history their legacy their traditions and all that kind of thing so guys there is hindu culture there is islamic culture then there are the turkish cultures and different different cultures are there now guys due to their specific culture people start to make a particular kind of art and that particular art reflects their traditions their roots their heritage now guys whenever 
a kind of a devastation comes into the society art is one which is impacted at the first because the survival becomes the priority and into the times of survival person will not be finding the time to make an art or to appreciate an art because guys man is just like an ordinary animal whose first instinct is to safeguard his own existence and all these arts are the things which are the pastimes and the same thing is happening due to the covid 19 now the crisis of existence had came so therefore art is taking a back seat now people are not willing to go to a museum to see a painting they will not go to an art exhibition to see some masterpieces but still into this times the art is rediscovering itself and trying the portals to reach the people and the case in point is the depiction of Mahabharat onto the TVs and mobile and guys this time even the artists are reaching to the people by performing the webinars self shoot by giving the live classes on YouTube and all these kind of things and even as people are struck into the lockdown they are also finding time to appreciate the art so guys this particular article says that the art is finding its own medium to reach to the people so guys it is a very excellent food for your thought society and art and culture as how it is changing into the present times please keep it into your mind and now we'll move to the next now guys here's a news item on page number nine where the china has accused the usa that usa is deliberately targeting hawaii and various other chinese firms now friends here's nothing new into this particular article this article is a continuation of the 5g war or the technology war that is going on between the china and us now guys if we talk about this particular issue then what happens there are two contenders to avail the crown of superpower into the world on one side there is usa and on other side there is china now China is emerging to be a economic power but right now China's role is majorly there into the assembly of components but various big companies such as Hawaii are emerging to be the manufacturers as well as assemblers. However, if we see the case of USA, then USA has the major dominance into the manufacturing of the semiconductors and one of the largest producers of semiconductors such as Qualcomm and Intel are the American firms. So, they have the technology, China have the assembly, though now technology is coming but still for some particular components china is dependent on to the usa such as on the qualcomm for the semiconductors of mobile phones now guys usa had seen a kind of a threat from china and believes that china might be overpower the usa into the new 5g technology that is coming so therefore, in order to restrict the Hawaii, USA had ordered their manufacturers such as Qualcomm, Intel and various other corporations to not to supply the components to the China. And now the USA says that the reason for this particular thing is the spying activity of the Chinese firms. USA says that the Chinese government is using these MNCs as a mechanism to spy over the confidential information. Therefore, large number of Chinese firms have been banned throughout 2018. Moreover, new export sanctions are also being levied onto the China and these firms such as Qualcomm and Intel are not allowed to supply without the approval. And guys, according to China, this particular thing is impacting the free trade, which is very much crucial for the world economy. So guys, this is all about this article. And now we'll move to the next. Now guys, here's a news item on page number 10, where the street vendors versus bank issue has been mentioned. Now friends, if you are following our series onto the fiscal package that is being given, then government has announced that under the Atma Nirbharta Abhyan, it has been decided that the street vendors will be given a loan of rupees 10,000 and under this particular mechanism, 50 lakh street vendors will be getting the benefit. Now guys, first of all, 
why this move is needed then because there have been a lockdown for more than 50 days there are various street vendors which have exhausted their working capital now friends working capital is simply that capital which a vendor needs for his day-to-day -day operations so as when the restriction will be lifted in order to come back to their business they need this working capital and by providing them a loan of 10,000 rupees their working capital needs will be met so this particular thing sounds very good but the problem comes that into this scenario the commercial banks have been chosen to do this particular thing but there are certain issues issue number one that banks have never given these type of loans in terms of the amount because 10,000 amount is very less usually bank gives big lendings and secondly in terms of number of borrowers because guys here borrowers will be huge they will be the 50 lakh borrowers and the third problem also comes here that is large number of borrowers they don't have any credit history and into that particular case banks will not be in a position to know whether the credentials of the borrowers are good or not however in this particular direction there could be one thing by which banks could lend that is the self-help group model on whose basis the borrowings are given into the villages now guys under this self-help group model a group is chosen which have 10 12 15 members and here two or three member take the guarantee of the entire group and on their personal guarantee the money is given but such a self-help group model might not be successful into the cities because first of all here people are not ready to take the guarantee of the entire group because of the trust deficit issues into the cities so there was a solution that this particular model could be adopted but it is also not possible moreover guys one more thing even into the self-help group model of villages the group has to show their saving habit for the period of six months and right now into the cities loans are to be given immediately and there is no time to show the six month habit chart then in the entire scenario what could be done so guys the suggestion is being made that in this entire scenario the micro finance institutions small finance banks should be given the lead role as these financial institutions have a kind of an experience in giving the small loans to these kind of people such as vendors so they should be kept on to the forefront but at the same time certain other things are also needed to be kept in mind that is what about the security of such a kind of loans it means what about the guarantee now guys there are the mudra loans in which the government gives the guarantee through the credit guarantee trust for micro and small enterprises and because of this particular mechanisms banks gave the loans of mudra so guys it is being suggested that the street vendor loans should be protected under such mechanism so that the banks are not hesitant in giving the loan moreover after from after this thing certain other things are also needed to be kept in mind number one is the documentation it should be very much simple and straightforward so that the loan taking doesn't become that much tedious secondly the time taken into the processing of these loans should be very much fast so that the consumer doesn't loses the interest altogether so guys this was about this entire issue i hope you have understood it now we'll move to the next now friends we are into the science and tech page and the first news item is about the human challenge studies which has been suggested by the who so guys we'll understand what they are and what is the context now world over attempts are being made to find the vaccine of coronavirus but the vaccine will not be coming out for the people until and unless the clinical trials are completed now friends into the clinical trials 
the trials of animals are done earlier after that the trials into the humans are conducted and when into the humans humans of of different age and in different con conditions they are chosen they are given the vaccine and then they are left into their natural surroundings and from time to time they are studied as how they are responding to the problem now guys in this particular thing the study depends on to the natural infection of the virus however now who is recommending that in that place we should go for the human challenge studies in human challenge studies what is done the vaccine is administered to a person and deliberately the person is infected infected with the sars cov2 virus and then we will see the response of the particular person and the effect of vaccine now why this human challenge is being suggested just because to save the time because into the controlled environment you can deliberately administer the dose and can record them however into the natural infection that studies will take much longer now guys according to who more than 3 lakh people have already died and millions will die into the coming course of time and in order to save these many lives we need to speed up and only the human challenge studies can show the way here and in the last 50 years many a times human challenge studies have been conducted and recently these human challenge studies were conducted for the zika virus vaccine but there is a controversy on to these human challenges and that is the ethical controversy now guys according to deontological theories you cannot use a man as a mean or just as an experiment you need to use the man as an end in itself now as the man is being used and deliberately he is being infected this particular thing is not ethical but according to who there has been a considerable success into the last 50 years so we can think about that particular thing but still it is unresolved as what should be the best approach now guys according to the data which is which is given by the who it has been said that the people into the age group of 18 to 30 years are not that much susceptible to the fatalities and the fatality rate into this into into this group is nearly 0.03% which is very less so only these contenders should be selected for the health challenge however there are other data also which says that no this data is wrong and the health crisis to these people is much more than that moreover the problem becomes even more complicated because first of all we don't know what is the response of sars cov2 into the body as where it is impacting the most because the particular trend has not been made out moreover there is no globally approved treatment method everywhere different different treatments are there so even if you have given the human challenge person developed certain symptoms how you will treat him because there is no treatment so problems are very much sticky so guys this is about the human challenge and all the controversies surrounding this particular aspect and friends this particular issue is not only important for your gs3 but also for your gs4 ethics that is the ethical dilemmas Now, guys, here's one more news item on science and tech. Whereas, whereas Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore, has developed an antimicrobial composite material for making the PPE masks. Moreover, such fabric which has been made by the IISC, it is also low cost. Now, guys, you know that the use of PPE is very much important in fighting against the COVID nineteen. And because there are no adequate PPE, large number of health force workers are also facing a crisis. And now, as the lockdown will be lifted, in order to observe better social distancing, we need high grade PPE at lower cost in order to make affordable. Now, Indian Institute of Science. has made a three layered structure now friends the outermost layer is made up of polyester now guys what is polyester polyester is the synthetic fabric or artificial fabric which is made into the lab by using components such as 
कोल पेट्रोलियम वॉटर एटसेट्रा सो इट इज द आर्टिफिशियल फैब्रिक नेचुरल फैब्रिक इज कॉटन नाउ ऑन टू दिस पॉलिएस्टर फैब्रिक कोटिंग ऑफ पॉलीमर नैनो फाइबर हैज बीन मेड नाउ गाइज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल पॉलीमर वट आर देर सो दीज आर सिंपली द मेटीरियल विच आर मेड ऑफ लॉन्ग रिपीटिंग चेन ऑफ सिमिलर मोलिक्यूल्स एंड दीज मोलिक्यूल्स आर कॉल्ड एज मोनोमर्स सो गाइज दीज ऑल आर द मोनोमर्स एंड दे हैव सिमिलर प्रॉपर्टीज एंड दे मेक अ पॉलीमर एंड दीज पॉलीमर्स दे हैव वेरी यूनिक प्रॉपर्टी विच डिपेंड्स ऑन द मोनोमर्स विच आर मेकिंग अप so guys these polymers they have qualities such as they can stretch they can bend even they can be hard they can be ductile and various other qualities could be there so guys in rubber in plastic in fabric glasses all they are made up of one or the other type of polymer and now guys polymer nano fiber are those fibers whose diameter is very small than the conventional fibers so guys their diameter is into the nanometers and because of this particular thing very unusual qualities can be achieved into a particular kind of material so now what is actually happening the outermost layer into this mask is made up of a synthetic cloth and on that these polyester nano fibers will be attached in such a way that this outer structure will get the qualities of such as water repellence so guys the water will not be sticking on this particular structure and water will repelled away now friends if we talk about the middle layer then this middle layer is also made up of a polymer and it has two distinct qualities number 1 this particular layer will be the will be positively charged so that any virus or bacteria if it comes in contact then it gets neutralized secondly it also has various antimicrobial qualities now guys there is a particular type of virus which is called as bacteriophage and these bacteriophage can kill the bacterias so guys this particular middle layer will be soaked into the solution containing the bacteriophage so that they also get some qualities due to which they can kill the bacterias and then the innermost layer will be made up of cotton so that the mask is comfortable on to the person who is wearing it moreover this particular mask has a capability that it can cut off the particles which are of the size of 0.3 micrometers and that too by the 95% of the efficiency moreover guys as this entire structure is built into the different different layers it could also be 3d printed so that into very less time the large quantities can be made and this particular move will be helping up the health response so guys that is all about this particular news item now friends there are here and there scattered news with respect to the fiscal package that has been given by the government under the name of atmanirbharta abhiyan however anyhow from past 3 days we are doing it quite exhaustively so we don't need to see those tidbits type of news item so guys that was all about the today's article discussion i hope you are liking it thank you so much